All right, last one in the series, three late season workouts for a sub three hour marathon. Okay, if you haven't seen the early season one and the, and the mid season one, go take a look in the description down below. You have nine workouts all together here for a sub three hour marathon. I encourage you to take a look at the sub three hour uh, marathon training plan I have on this channel. Um, so you can see how to plug and play these things and you see how workouts progress from one to the other. That way you're making sure that you're running your best when it counts the most, okay? Um, and, uh, and by the way, if it's your first time here, welcome if you're a coach or an athlete and you want a lot of good training content, whether it be the marathon, 10K, 5K, mile, 800 meters, whatever, do not leave without subscribing to this channel, okay? And hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos because after this, I'm transitioning to sub 230 and doing the same three videos, okay? I've already done sub four hours and sub 330 as well. It's on the channel too, so take a look, give me your feedback, put some questions in the comments, I answer them all. So let's get to it, workout number one. This is three um, times four kilometers. So again, yeah, this is voluminous. It's three, um, it's seven and a half miles worth of total volume, okay? But you do, these, you do three of them, okay, with a three minute recovery, and you progress from marathon pace to half marathon pace. So marathon pace for sub three hours, essentially 650 to about 648 per mile or 646 per mile if you want to give yourself a little cushion. And, um, and by, at the end of the workout, you also do a one kilometer effort too. So you're essentially progressing from um, here, six, about 650 to 630 per mile on these efforts, progressing from marathon pace to half marathon pace, okay? And let's just say 650, the first one, 640, the second one, 630 for the last one. That's a good progression. You work your way towards that if you can. And then on the back end, you take a three minute uh, recovery after the last rep, and then you do a one kilometer hard effort between 10K pace and 5K pace. So that's between about 6.15 to six minutes per mile, okay? And uh, to kind of simulate running a little bit hard towards the end. But the whole workout is 13 kilometers, okay? Just about eight miles worth of volume. But at this point, um, in late season, you should be able to handle stuff like this. And you wanna simulate or do as much of a marathon pace or faster than marathon pace as possible. It's a good way to test your fitness, okay? Um, especially if you're not racing a lot, and most people don't race a lot during a marathon training cycle anyway, so workouts like these are very good. Workout two is the speed fart like again. Um, I, would, I would look at the early season and late and, or mid season video and see how it progresses here. The reps get um, more, well, the reps get longer. Okay, like the reps, the distance stays the same, but the amount of reps you do stays longer. So here it's 22 to 24 times one minute hard and one minute easy. Okay, so 44 to 48 minutes of total running in this workout, okay? Um, and you're running between 6.15 and 6 minute pace, so between 10K and 5K pace. Obviously, after an ex a good warm up, drills and strides, and before a good cool down, that's part of the day as well. Always, anytime you do a workout. Um, but here, that's the speed farlek, okay? And again, this is so helpful in terms of marathon training, speed farlek, I can't emphasize it enough. It makes everything easier and more effective as you go into longer distances, okay? Helps your stride pattern, helps you stay efficient, okay? And speed development is a component of endurance training and vice versa, they complement each other, all right? So that's workout two. And workout three is a 20 to 22 mile long run. At this point, it should be your second long run. And let's just say this is five weeks out or four weeks out. Your, your, your longest long run should be, or your last longest long run should be about four weeks out and then you start tapering back to long runs. So here is 22, uh, 20 to 22 mile long run with the final 10 kilometers at marathon pace, okay? I've done other long runs where the, uh, the marathon pace is in the beginning, marathon pace is in the middle, but now you need to know what it feels like to run the last 10 miles of these long runs at marathon pace to simulate what it's gonna be like in a marathon. You need to know what that feels like to do that pace towards the end. So this is a great way of doing it. And again, if you're not doing a simulation run or something like that with let's say, or running a half marathon about five weeks out, um, this is a good workout too. A simulation run I talk about in my other videos too. I'll talk about it in the sub 230 training too. So that's another thing to incorporate if you're not running a half marathon as well. So watch those videos too. But again, 20 to 22 mile long run with the final 10 miles at marathon pace. Okay, so here it's 650 to 645 per mile. And those are the three workouts, late season workouts. You let me know what you think. Give me your feedback in the comments. If you find them helpful, hit the thumbs up. It's really helpful to the channel's, uh, to the channel's growth as well. It helps to spread it to a greater running community around the world. And that's exactly what I wanna do. I've got 200 plus videos that can help a ton of people. So by subscribing, hitting the bell and hitting the like button before you leave or as soon as you start you know, watching the videos, it's really, really helpful and greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching. Talk to you next time.